it's me, Yasmin, also known as Minion Loomer, and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to make a loom design, and this design was created by at Brandon Looms on Instagram, and this bracelet was named by at Zimmy underscore Looms on Instagram. Be sure to check their Instagrams out. I will put a link in the description box down below. So in order to make this bracelet, you will need these type of materials. You will need a loom that's in four pin bars total. You will need a hook. And today I will be using the pastel color bands and some white opaque bands. And lastly, you will need a C-clip. So without further ado, let's get started with making this bracelet. And to get started, you're going to take the color of your border and you're gonna place it from this pin and then go up forwards to the left. Then you're gonna take another white band and just go straight forward like this. And then you're gonna take another white band and then on the right side now, take it and place it on this pin and then bring it to the top right hand. I mean on the pin. Then you're gonna take this band and just bring it forward. And then you're gonna continue just taking a single white band and placing it forward on your loom till you get to the very top of your loom. Now what we are going to do is push our bands down on each of our pins. Then now to close the border off, we're going to take this band and place it on this pin and then just bring it straight forward inwards to the left and take this band and place it inwards to the left and then this one to the right. So this is how our entire loom should look like. Now that we did this, we are going to take our teal color band and we're going to make lines across our loom. So take one of them and just place it like this, make a line across. Take another one and then just make a line across. And then we're gonna do that till we get to the tip top of our loom. Then you wanna push these lines down. Now we are going to take a pink band and we're gonna place it on this pin and then go from the left to the right upper pin. Then you're gonna take another band go from the right pin to the upper left pin. And then you're just making X's all the way along the middle till you get to the top of your loom. So left to upper right and right to upper left. Left to upper right, right to upper left. Next you wanna push these bands that are crossed and just push them down so that your loom looks like this. So now what we are going to do is flip our loom around so that it looks like this. And then we are going to take a color band that is from the center or the border color. So what I'm going to do is take a border color band and we are going to make a cap band. So just place it on these two pins and then you're going to twist it and then just lay it over those two bands so that it looks like this. Now it's time for the hooking process. And to do that, you're going to take your hook and reach inside and grab the top band and hook it to the left. Then you're gonna reach back in and grab the top band from the right pin and hook it to the right. So that looks like this. Now what we are going to do is go inside this band here and grab the turquoise color band and you're just going to hook it to this pin right here just like that now go into this right pin and take this band so I'm gonna try to make it more visible so as you can see we're gonna insert our hook and take this band and carefully hook it to this pin just like that then we're gonna go back in here take this pink band and hook it to the left pin I mean to the right pin then go in here take this white pink band and hook it to the left pin now then take this band and just hook it over and then place it on the left side of our loom go inside here and take this band and hook it to the right side of our loom now there's a lot of tension so be careful to not break the band and be sure to use a metal hook so now you're going to take this band and hook it to the left, I mean the right pin. Take this band and hook it to the left pin so that it looks like this. Then we are going to grab this turquoise band and hook it over to the left carefully. 
go in here, take this band, and hook it to the right, carefully. And then you just grab this left band and hook it to the right pin. Take this band and hook it to the left pin. And then you repeat by grabbing this turquoise band and hook it over to this left pin. And then do the same for the right side. Then you repeat. to hook the border band. Now what we are going to do is insert our hook in this cap band and take this white band and hook it over to the left. Now you're going to insert back in the cap band and take this band and hook it to the right pin. Then you're gonna go insert your hook into everything through here and take this white band and hook it forward. And then you're gonna go in here and take this white band and hook it forward. Now there's going to be tension on the band, so just carefully try your best to hook everything forward. Then you're gonna go in here and take your hook and grab the bottom white and just hook it forward. And go in here, grab this white band and hook it forward and just continue so on. So now go in here, take this white band and carefully hook it forward. Grab this white band, hook it forward. And just repeat till you get to the tip top of your loom. Then once you get to the top, you take this band that's at the bottom, which is white, and then you hook it to the inwards on the right pin. Then you go in here and take this white band and just hook it inwards to the left pin so that it looks like this. Now that we hooked everything, it's time to start securing the ending part. So now to do the closing portion, you are going to take a single white band and then just go in here and take a band and just slide it through all these loops and then just reclaim. Then you can take a, so then you can leave this band like that. Then go in here, take a single white band and just slide it through and reclaim. Actually don't reclaim, just make sure the bands are dangling like this. Then you're gonna take this band on the left and just place your hook in there. And then go to the right side, and then you see, you want to, don't grab this band. So these bottom bands don't grab yet. But you want to grab this top band. And then just grab that. Then you grab this left band and place it on your loom. Oops. Just make sure it's not twisted. So that looks like that. Then you just grab this end and you place it on. So this is how it'd be closed. Then you're going to take a white band and just slide it through all these four loops. So this is how I normally close off the bands that have a border like this. And then you are going to, so then now once you reclaim, it should look like this. And then you're gonna take a single C clip. So I'm gonna take this clip and you wanna clip the ends here. So just clip those. And then now you're ready to remove this bracelet off your loom. So go ahead and do that and I'll be back. So now we are going to get started with creating the border. So what we are going to do is insert our band into the capping band. And make sure your bracelet is looking like this instead of this end. But now what you're going to do is insert your hook into the cap band. And you wanna pick a color for your border. So I'm using this pastel purple. And then you're gonna take this band and just slide it through the cap band and reclaim. Then you're going to insert your hook on the border of the white band. So you see there's a chain here on the side. So you just wanna insert your hook from the back and then just grab one end of the white band and then the other end. So that it looks like this. Then you're gonna take a white band and just place it on your hook and slide it through these four loops and then reclaim. Then you're gonna take another band and just slide it through these four loops. So this is a half double crochet. And then just reclaim. Then you're gonna go ahead and insert your hook into these two loops for the border. Take another band and slide it through these two loops and reclaim. So you have four loops on your hook then just take a band and slide it through these four loops and reclaim. And then you wanna go into these two loops, take a band and slide it through these two loops, reclaim. 
take another band and just slide it through these four loops and reclaim. Then you want to do this till you get to the very top of your first loop. Now you're at the top and you should see the bracelet like this. And now what you're going to do is take your hook and place it into the band that has the C-clip. So just take one of the ends. And then you're gonna take this end and just slide it through these two loops and reclaim. Now it's time to do the other end of the border. So insert your hook into this cap band and you wanna place it where it's the opposite end of the border or from the center. And then you take a band and you slide it through and reclaim. Then you go into these two white bands of the border and you take a band and you slide it through and you reclaim. Take another band and slide it through these four loops and then you reclaim. Then you go into these two loops, the next two bands of the white, and then you slide a band through. And then you slide a band through these four loops. Then you just wanna repeat these same exact steps till you reach to the tip top of your bracelet and go ahead and continue. Now, once you get to the top, you want to take this band that is right here. So take this band on the right side, and you want to remove it off the C-clip and slide these two loops on your hook onto that band, and then you replace the C-clip back on. So that both ends of the bracelet looks like this. So now if you want to do a simple to close this bracelet off for a one loom design, what you can do is take a band. I'll take this band that's on your hook and you can place your hook through that and just remove the C-clip off your loom. And if you want, you can make this band a double band, like two bands, and then you slide it through. So I'll show you how to do that. So you take this band, this white band, and just reclaim everything that you just placed on this band. And then you slide this band off, but make sure you have everything off that band. Then what you're going to do is take two bands and just slide it through all of these loops. And then just reclaim. Take two more bands slide it through these four loops and reclaim. Or you can do a single chain if you want. But I think a doubled border band will look nice for this bracelet. So I'm just taking these two bands and just slide it through. So I go a little slower. So take these two bands and just slide it through these four loops and reclaim. So that the bracelet is looking like this. So I think I'm gonna do this and just continue this till this bracelet gets to the full length of your wrist. And go ahead and attach a C-clip onto these four loops. And then I will show you what to do next once you finish this part. So now once you get to this part, you are going to take these, this C-clip and then just place it on these four loops. And then go ahead and remove that off your hook and go ahead and stretch this out and then take this end of your C-clip and attach it to this cap band so that the bracelet looks like this. This is how you make the Brandon bracelet. I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to become part of the Mini Loom Squad. Anyways, I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!